for some reason, right, I don't know, right, but uh, recently, I'd say maybe in the last year and a half, uh, I've got into like uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin and uh, Michael Bublé and uh, I, I really like that album. I've got a couple of uh, like uh, the Frank Sinatra uh, CDs and uh, I've got a Michael Bublé CD. i just got to turn my TV down. Right, uh, I really just like listening to it. It's nice and relaxing. Uh, it's really good, so it is. Uh, I've got you under my skin, uh, and I get a kick out of you, and all that, and New York, New York, my way, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, right, anyway, uh, Lady is a Tramp, that's a good song. Uh, I bet they're just really, really good uh, songs. They're just, they're just they're so nice and relaxing to listen to. Uh, I bet it's good. I, I really like that album as well. It's a good album, that. But I'm trying to think the other one that I've got. Uh, oh, recently. Well, since I've uh, had a record player, I've got into uh, Genesis, and I think, in my opinion, now that I've had time to really think about it, uh, I'm not really too... Well, I, I really, really like it, but I just uh, I prefer uh, Genesis rather than uh, Phil Collins' uh, solo stuff, but I really wanted to just collect everything that Phil Collins has ever done, and that was only two ninety nine in Oxfam and uh, Lilithgo, so I've got uh, that. That's a good album, that. Aye, uh, I Don't Care Anymore, that's a good song, but uh, uh, You Can't Hurry Love, that's a good one, but it's a cover version. Uh, a band done it in the 60s. Aye, a women group done it in the 60s. Right, uh, I really like this film, so I thought I would get the soundtrack. It's brilliant. That's really good, aye. Uh, Summer Howard days uh, oh, uh, Bachelor Boy Dancing Shoes I bet it's a great album that really really good that album I, I really like uh, Cliff Richard he's good but that was £8 wow huh. can't remember where I got that though I can't remember but maybe the charity shop in Limpton I think it was maybe not too sure I think it was Anyway, uh, but I'm trying to find that. Oh, in fact, it's been in the uh, Frank Sinatra, My Way. Uh, the song Mrs. Robertson uh, that Simon and Garfunkel done. Uh, it's a really, really good uh, version, in my opinion, that uh, Frank Sinatra's. And Yesterday, that's a brilliant uh, song. That's a good version. That was the, uh, Be the Beatles. And then For Once in My Life, that's a brilliant song. Uh, my Way, obviously, is probably one of his best, but uh, it is a fantastic album, that. I bet. Uh, I like the New York, New York one that I've got in the uh, snooker room. Uh, that, that's got all the great stuff on it. That's the best one. But I've reviewed that one before. It's brilliant. Right, so I've got... Uh, one... Two, three... Four... Four, four vinyl records and two uh, CDs of uh, Frank Sinatra. And uh, that's not too bad. It's not as good as the other ones, but it is good though. Are you lonesome tonight? Well, it could be the one that uh, Elvis Pre Presley done. That's good though. Uh, I just like listening to it. It's nice and relaxing. And uh, Michael Bub is good as well. Aye. I've got into him recently for some reason as well, but his music is really good. Aye. He, uh, it does lots and lots of cover versions, but oh, the cover versions are absolutely outstanding. Aye, they really are. Aye. And uh, I've always been an Elvis uh, fan, but I've got uh, some Elvis records as uh, well. Aye. And I uh, just uh, look in charity shops for albums, and if I've heard of the person and I quite like them, I'll just get it and try it if it's a good price. Aye, uh, but uh, 
Sometimes in HMVs they can be so dear, so I didn't really get uh, them out of HMV as much as I used to. But uh, I really do I like looking in HMV though, because uh, there's some that I've had out of HMV, like uh, Judas Priest. They're really good. They're underrated, Judas Priest. They're a good band. Aye. Uh, I like the British Steel album. That was absolutely phenomenal, British Steel, in my opinion. It's a good album. The best album they've ever done. Best album they ever will do as well. But uh, it's been good to get into uh, records. Uh, since I've got into records, like I've got into Simon and Garfunkel, The Carpenters, uh, uh, Frank Sinatra, uh, Genesis, uh, Phil Collins, uh, and all that. It's been really good. Uh, I've opened up my like musical taste and it's uh, like way broad and so like one day I could be listening to Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra and then maybe like later on that night I could be listening to Metallica or uh, Iron Maiden it's so varied and uh, like Kai the Minogue, Foo Fighters, ACDC, Led Zeppelin, The Who uh, a wee bit of Roy Orbison, The Beatles, The Bee Gees, Michael Jackson, Jackson 5. I really like a, a lot of uh, different artists and bands. Uh, my music taste has really changed over the years. When I, when I was growing up I liked Five Boys on Westlife, Take That, A1, and stuff like that. Aye, but my era is for 1997 to about 2005. Aye, that's my whole era. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Aye, but eight, eight years in my childhood, aye, from 1997 to 2005, all that era is my music. Aye, like all the pop when uh, Britney Spears came along and stuff like that. But I didn't like Britney Spears, it's just that uh, she was number one in 1999, aye, when she uh, came through with Baby One More Time. Aye, uh, but... I remember the 2000s onwards uh, a lot more though. I can only remember 1997 on, onwards. I can remember 1997 down. Aye, because my memory doesn't go that far back. Aye, but uh, my movies uh, like have not uh, changed. I still like uh, like the film Monty, uh, Jumanji, Small Soldiers, uh, the Sawshank Redemption, Grease. Uh, the Beach, Goodwill Hunting, Castaway, uh, every one of the Halloween films, every single one of the Friday the 13th films, every single one of the Evil Dead films, and you really, really need to uh, watch uh, Copycats with Sigourney Weaver in it. Honestly, you need to. It's a brother crime thing like she's a investigator but she's uh, getting stopped uh, by a copycat and the person that's copycat and the person that's in jail he helps i uh, helps the person helps sigourney weaver's character uh like find it about him and all that it's brilliant and she's uh so scared that she can't leave her house and that and oh it's just amazing though it really is good i really like it a lot and uh, I like uh, Fright Night, I used to watch that when I was younger. It was scary when I first seen it though, but I really like it. And uh, the the Blair Witch Project, I remember that. That was brilliant, that film. Uh, it still is though, aye. Saying that it's true, but it's not. Aye, but it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, that's brilliant. The Shining, that's brilliant. Uh, in my opinion, Jack Nicholson was born to play the part of The Shining and the Joker on the very first Batman film in 1989, I think it was. And uh, I was in uh, the DVD shop uh, called CX in Livingston ages ago. Didn't go there that often anymore, but uh, uh, I got that once and it was only £1. Pound. Oh, wait. I'm missing Coronation Street. Right, anyway, aye, so, uh, Aliens, but I've already got that on DVD. Uh, Resident Evil and the Fly, that is brilliant, that. Uh, the Fly is a brilliant film. Aye, uh, I used to watch it when I was younger. 
And the bit when he looks in the mirror and starts uh, turning into the fly and his fingernails come off, it's horrible, but it's brilliant. Absolutely love it. And uh, the ring, like the, the ring films, they're great. Uh, the Grudge, they're brilliant. Uh, I've been lots and lots of uh, different films like comedy. Comedy and uh, f- uh, horror are my uh, best f- favourite f- uh, genre of films. And in, in my opinion, I hate romantic films. Hate them with a passion. I didn't really mind superhero films, but now and again I, I can't really, like, really understand everything that goes on about it all. I mean, I really do like watching them, but in my opinion, no, some of them are like uh, two and a half hours long, and uh, at the end of the day, it's just the goodie fight and the baddie, and the goodie always wins at the end, so I don't know why it strings out for two and a half hours. In my opinion, uh, 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 superhero films shouldn't last any longer than at least, say, one hour and 50, like, 50 minutes high, one hour and 50 minutes, but... They're good though. Uh, Iron Man's my uh, best uh, uh, like superhero films. Then it's the Hulk. Then it's uh, Spider. No. No, aye. It's uh, Spider Man first. Then Iron Man. Then the Hulk. Aye. Like I like them. And Kirsten Dunst and the first uh, three uh, Spider Man films is absolutely brilliant. She's absolutely stunning, and uh, she's been in. Uh, Small Soldiers in Jumanji, so I've got one, two, five uh, films with Kirsten Dunst in it, in them. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Might need to look her up on uh, Netflix and see what other uh, things uh, that she's in that might be on uh, that. I like uh, Child's Play, the first uh, movie, and I like all the other ones as well. Uh, but in my opinion, though, I do like it, but I don't think that's anywhere near as good as any of the other uh, Chucky films. They're good, though. And I would recommend recommend that you watch the first two. A little bit outdated, but uh, absolutely brilliant. When I first seen it, though, when I was really young, though, I was scared and I couldn't go to the toilet. I was scared. But it's just a doll at the end of the day. Aye, it's not true. I mean, technically, you can get robot uh, dolls, but... Uh, like, uh, it was just stupid though, uh, when I look back on it, it's on the doll. <laughs> right, but anyway, I'm just, sometimes the sun goes in my eyes, that's why I have the blinds open. No, the blinds shut, and um, when they're open, I close them, I close the, uh, the way that the sun shines right on, right on to my face when I'm lying down uh, on my bed. Aye, but uh, recently, as I said, uh, it's just been so hot. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday now. It's Monday now, and it's it's just been really hot. Uh, t- today and yesterday, I was the two hottest days uh, since uh, like the this, this sun. Uh, it's just amazing, though. Makes you just want to go out and do more things and that, and instead of being in the house. But sometimes, like in the middle of the night, when I wake up and I uh, wake up and like I sweat and I get I get sweat like all around my neck and the backs of my knees. Hate that though. Don't know uh, why, but uh, I just didn't like uh, extreme heat or extreme cold. I would rather it be between ten and fifteen degrees every single day instead of well. I do like it hot because you you really go out and enjoy it, but. You sweat a lot and uh, you just need so much sun cream all the time. It's good though, aye. But the hottest it's ever been is when I was in Geneva with my football team and oh, the first time, the first year I went in there, oh, that was just unbelievable hot. Never felt something like it before. On the tiny small, uh, like ast- no, uh, astroturf pitch, uh, you couldn't put your hand down longer than four sec, well, three seconds even. It was just that hot. As soon as we finished, I had to run into the shade and I got made to uh, drink like uh, half a big uh, one liter uh, bottle of water because I was dehydrating a little bit. It was just oh, it was horrific. And I was sweating so much that the sweat was going in my eyes, and stinging because uh, uh, sweat can be a bit salty and it's some sting in my eyes. It was horrible. Uh, but it was, it was a great uh, learning experience, so uh, going to Geneva three times with my football team, that was absolutely incredible. 
Aye, uh, but uh, what else? Aye, uh, my football experience with the team was absolutely outstanding. Would have still been doing it if uh, it did. It didn't have the end, but ah oh, well then. Powdered nugget soya.